Hey guys, thank you for joining me and welcome back to the channel. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful geometric mirror wall art. Absolutely stunning. Didn't take a lot of work, although it looks like I spent a lot of time on it. It was quick and it was easy and I'm going to share with you how I did it. But before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on your notifications. That way you'll never miss an upload. So right now, I'm going to get started. I'm just going to start with this cardboard. The paint is metallic silver. Everything I'm going to use today, I'll link in the description section. So if you're interested, please check there. So while that's drying, I'm going to use my uh, two inch squared mirrors. I use these mirrors in another video and I have some left over. So I'm going to use some of these in this video. Now these are self adhesive tiles and they're about two inches square. I'm just going to just section them off by cutting them apart and making them into separate pieces. So now that the panel is dry, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to trace the shape of the mirror onto the back of the cardboard. I'm going to create about nine squares. Once I cut them out, I'm going to make sure they're exactly the same size as the mirror because this is going to be the inner portion of our mirror that helps create the geometric design. So now that I have all nine squares ready, I'm going to use this diamond wrap. I picked this up from Amazon and I'm just going to cut out two inch squares to cover the cardboard. And I'm going to cut out nine of those. So to remove the fraying edges at the top, I'm going to use this electric candle lighter and that's just going to just singe off the edges nice and smooth. And I'm going to do that to all nine pieces.
Now that that's done, I'm going to take a little bit of my Aileen's Clear Tacky Gel Glue and I'm going to adhere the diamond wrap to the cardboard. So here I have a very sturdy foam board that I picked up from my craft store and I'm going to use these mirrors. These mirrors have a self-adhesive backing. Once I get them into place, I'm going to remove the backing and then attach them to the foam board. So now that the mirrors are in place, I'm going to add the geometric pattern now. So this is going to be the pattern. What I'm going to do now is sort of place it there just to make sure each piece fits without any resistance. And I'm going to use a little bit of my tacky gel glue and I'm not going to peel off the backing of the small mirrors. The mirrors are really, really lightweight. So I'm just going to adhere them with some tacky gel glue. While that's dry, I'm going to take my utility cutter and cut away the extra foam board that's visible. I'm going to attach a strip of diamond wrap to the outer perimeter of the board. This way it's going to cover the edge of the board and give it a nice finished look.
And guys, this is what it looks like. It's nice and dry. And I'm just cleaning off the mirrors a little bit more. But this is absolutely beautiful. I love the way this came out. And with this mirror, you can hang it in either direction. You can hang it in a profile position or you can hang it in a landscape position. But I love the profile position, so this is the way I'm going to hang it today. And I'm loving the way this looks. Let me know what you think. And I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And please don't forget to thumbs up this video. And please don't forget to subscribe. Stay well, stay safe, and stay blessed. And I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>